everyone. My name is Chelsea. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Chelsea F Knits, on YouTube Chelsea F Knits, and today I just wanted to share some yarn I've gotten at one, two, three, four, five different yarn stores this summer. So this is my summer yarn haul video. Um, I probably will make another video and kind of journal also what I've been knitting, but this video I just wanted to showcase the different stores I've gone to this summer and what I picked up there. Um, definitely a lot of fingering weight yarn, which I'm gravitating to more projects with fingering weight. And all of this yarn I've kind of gotten, um, I'll hold up all the backs, for specific projects. So some stores I bought just for one project, other ones here and there. So um, in my next video, I'll show just and talk about the projects I'm planning on making. Um, but I just want to showcase the yarn, the stores, um, and later on I'll show you my new projects. So the first store I went to this summer was this one. It's called The Knit. And this was in Connecticut near a beach house that my brother and his wife stay at. Oh, I want to say Westbrook, Connecticut. I really, I'm sorry, but The Knit. And you can find it at www.thenitknits.com. And she has a smaller little yarn store. It's definitely a community where lots of people, um, live it's not just it's not a ton of vacationers people who sail or do boats go there um but she might get you know she probably gets some tourists so this is the yarn i got from her these two skeins um it's wonderland yarns so it's a hand dyer in no uh, where is she from i thought it said I'm sorry. Hand dyer. I don't know where she's from. So it's Wonderland Yarns. And um, maybe the lady at the store told me where she, this lady lives. Somewhere on the East Coast, I think. So Wonderland Yarns. And this the yarn is um, the fingering weight. And I think her fingering weight is called Cheshire Cat. And I got two colors. Um, I'll keep a surprise what I'm going to make with it. Um, but I thought they looked good together. And that they would kind of um, make a nice piece. And the colors, oh, so this yarn dyer, she was doing like a year in color. So this is one, it's her March colorway. So lots of greens with a tiny bit of purple, like teal green. I think it's really pretty. And then this one is more purple, which I really do love purple. With a little bit of green. So I think those will knit up nice together in a project. Um, and it's kind of a cool yarn, like the texture on it is a little bit bumpy. But it's kind of fun, I really kind of like it. I put on a cowl to show my knitting, but it's kind of hot today. In so the knit in Connecticut is my first. And that was a Wonderland Yarns. And I've actually, now that I, that was the first time I've ever seen that. And she didn't have a lot of hand dyed stuff. She had lots of different brands and different weights. But um, that was the first I've seen that hand dyed yarn. But then I saw it again in another store um, this summer. Next up, I went to this store. This one was fun. And I really love this bag. It's called Fiber Space. One thing from this bag, it just couldn't go like that. And then you have two handles. Um, I love bags. I even love, I love that yarn series put their names on the outside of their paper bag. So then I can remember where I got my yarn. Um, okay, so the Fiber Space is a yarn universe. And it's in Alexandria, Virginia. So right outside of D.C. So I went to D.C. with my husband's family. And we stayed in a hotel in Alexandria and I've decided and maybe this is bad and opposite I will support my local yarn store better when I run out of yarn 
But I've really been shopping for projects, which I'm happy with because I feel like yarn is an investment in my time and my money, definitely money, especially these hand dyed yarns. Um, but it's something I want to invest my money in and my time for myself. Um, but I really am starting to shop for patterns more. So like I've been putting those in my phone and um, making sure if I am in, in a new place on vacation or, you know, driving by a yarn store and that I've never been to especially. And I think that's it, the yarn store I've never gone to. I definitely want to try to stop and go to that yarn store and um, see what they have and hopefully support it. And hopefully... I can start supporting my own local yarn store more too. So I definitely was shopping for something when I went to this store because I'm shopping for patterns. Um, so I got a bunch of hedgehog. So I will show you the colors. And they had, this store is fun. It's like in a row, you know, row store. So it's connected on either side to other stores. But they had like two nice big, um, you know, store like, Section. So you, there was a lot of space and a lot of yarn, but it didn't feel overwhelming. Sometimes in a store like that, that is bigger, they put so much yarn in it, I just feel like overwhelmed. But maybe now I've become a better shopper for what I want to buy. Um, but she had just, a, I was looking for a fingering dyed, hand dyed yarn. Um, and Hedgehog was probably the best bet there. So I'll show you the colors I picked up. And so they had a big round table of all different hedgehog. And they had lots of speckles, but this time I definitely went for more um, tonal gradient kind of dyed, not speckled. Which I'm happy I did. I think it will be pretty. So um, this color is like brown and purple and blue. And it's called Hurricane. This one is opalate, opalate, opalate. And it's like a light blue with some purple and some tannish brown. I think pretty. This one, probably I think we'll switch to a different project, but it's, I don't know. Okay, what does that say, guys? Wayne or Wave? And it's just like hot pink with some lighter pink with some maybe purple brown, but really bright. So I think... Um, I might switch it out for something else, but I'll just talk about that next in a different video. This is Pheasant, and it's pink, like a dark fuchsia pink with some orange, which I think is fun. Kind of like fall, summer to fall. And the last one I got is Raven, and it's a purple and a brown. It's pretty much the two colors. So... Fiber space. I definitely check that out if you're anywhere in DC. And I didn't really, we didn't really do anything else because we were going to DC that night. Um, but Alexandria and the street that store was on was really. Cute. That's the store um, where the street that the store was on was really cute. So I definitely recommend going to Fiber Space in Alexandria, Virginia, if you have a chance. But I did also see. I started following their Instagram, and they had just purchased I think a new store location and they're doing renovations for that um so that's exciting I'm like now I'll have to go back and I live in Philadelphia so I'm pretty close to DC um so maybe at some point in my future I will go back um and then we were in DC the next day and we did a lot of the historical stuff but I was like you know well my daughter needed a nap so I was like I have a stroller and I was like I should walk to a yarn store um so I did go on a super long walk, which was maybe not smart, and it was so hot that day. Um, it was so hot that day. And I probably had a shirt on, something like this, and I was pushing, and my arms got so sunburned. Because I didn't realize, when I looked it up, I was like, oh, it's only a mile from the White House. And But we weren't at the White House when I left to, for the walk. We were maybe a mile from the White House. So my walk ended up being super long, but she took like an hour nap in the stroller and I went to Looped Yarn Works. And this is my haul from Looped Yarn Works. Oh wait, I got one more yarn from here. I got this one too from here. Um, so I got four. And this is the first time I've bought this brand too. It's called the Knitted Wit and it's Victoria Sock. And so it's a fingering weight. Um, so I got two of these. 
colors, which I think is pretty, and I love pink. It's called Wild Orchid. And then I got Unicorn Farts, which I really... They had some Madeline Tosh I was kind of curious, tempted to buy. But I really love this name, and I love the colors. I'm worried that it might be a little bit brighter than what I'm used to, but it's going to knit with the other colors, so I think it will be okay in the end. So, knitted wit. And then I got one more yarn, and I really was sad because I follow this hand dyer on Instagram. I guess Machete Shoppy Shop. And this is called Stardust, and this is her sim Simple Sock yarn base. Um, just pinks and purples. So definitely my colors. So I'm glad they had one of hers that I really like the colors of. But I really would have like bought an all of the yarn I was shopping for for this project in this yarn, but they only had one left. Um, I think it just went fast and when they had first gotten it. So that shop was cute too. The only thing I'll say if you go to Loop to Yarn Works in DC, I had my stroller with me and I didn't realize it was on the second floor because I thought I could just like push my daughter in this because she was still asleep when I got there. So I was hoping I love these colors. She could, um, you know, stay asleep while I shop a little bit, but unfortunately I had to get her out. And it was a fun, nice walk. DC is such a nice, clean city. Um, lots of cute stuff. Lots of food carts, food trucks in DC. If you ever get the chance to go there, I'll tell you about them all. Okay, so the next one was I went up to my mom's house in New York State, and we went to this shop called Beetle and Fred. And it's really just a sewing store. It's in um, Beacon, New York. It's where my mom grew up and my grandparents used to live before they passed. Um, so she needs more yarn at that store. She has a lot of pretty fabric. Her shop is really cute. If you're a sewer, you should really go there. There was this one quilt I'm really tempted to make. I can sew flat things, but it's not my forte. So I went there with my mom because my mom had gone and she had said oh this is so cute we should go here um and it's a really cute little street beacon on main street beacon in main street on main street i don't know which one so we went there and my mom bought some fabric that was on sale at the end of the summer in a pattern to make a top and they had woolen boom is that how you should say that's it woolen when you like read stuff on instagram it's hard to know woolen boon yarn and i just had to buy some so this is going to make a project it's different colors than maybe i would have i really love this color this is probably my favorite that i got it's a green of like speckles and i just really love that shade of green and this one is called ever and this is a wicked pretty yarn for all and this is a four ply fingering sock and she, I think, had had a lot of more of these, but um, again, it sells out fast. And this one is lovey. It's like a cream tan with lots of speckles. I think really pretty. I just love speckles, too. This one, maybe this is my favorite. I don't know. I just like them all, actually. This is so ranculous. It's like a light pink, white, almost, with lots of pretty speckles. Some green, some blue, some red. Um... And, ooh, I look not great. And then this one is called Mint Julep. Green with a little bit darker green with lots of orange speckles. So if these four are all going to work together, I think they will do well together. And again, I shopped for a pattern. So this will get used. Um, but definitely cute shop. Definitely go there if you like to sew. And she had some other yarn, some like chunkier yarn. Um, but this, I probably wouldn't have bought anything until I saw that she had this brand because I've been following her on Instagram for a while and I've never seen it in a shop. So when I saw it in her shop, I was like, okay, I guess I am going to buy some yarn today because I really wasn't planning to. I was planning just to go and look at this store. Okay, so the, the one thing I really loved in that store was this quilt, um, that she has hanging and it would be for like the little girl's bed and it's kitty cats, head shapes. And it's just all different fun colors. I really am. It's like stuck in my mind. And my daughter's still in the crib. And she has this blanket. This like minky blanket. Just two pieces of fabric sewed together. 
I'm like, oh, I would love to make her a quilt. My grandma used to sew and she always quilted us really cute quilts. I'm like, oh, maybe I could make, but I would have to make it twin size. So it would last a long time um, if I did ever sew her that blanket. Okay, so the last store I went to was on the way home from my mom's. Oh, they don't have a thing on there. So, um, Conversational Threads. It's in Pennsylvania. It's like an, only an hour, Allentown. It's only about an hour outside of Philly. So um, it was a nice, like we drove a couple hours and then we stopped and then drove an hour home. So this one I bought my yarn haul. These two are the same. And this and then these two. Um, this is kind of like filler inners, so this is not all a project, but um, they're going to make finish some other projects. So I got two um, Primrose yarn, which I've been making my Find Your Fade shawl, and I love Primrose yarn. I love the Adelaide. Um, and I got two of these, which is a pretty neutral color, but that's kind of what I was looking for with some pink um, speckles. And it's Kiss Kiss. So I think it's really pretty. And then I got this Hedgehog, which I'm gonna trade out one of yarns that I got somewhere else that I thought was gonna make a project. Um, just gonna switch out to another thing. So this one's gonna fill in for it, and this is Groovy. And it's just like pink with some blues, with some purples, with some browns, just all different shades but pretty light i wouldn't normally pick this one it's like not my favorite but i think it will go like i like it but i think it will go super well where i'm going to take like a different yarn out and put this one in as a replacement i think this will be perfect for it so i do like it but um if i was just knitting like a hat or i don't know something that wouldn't be my first color choice but it has lots of colors i like just more muted and then these are crazy neon yellow I don't know it looks kind of green in the camera but it's definitely yellow and these are unicorn tails by Madeline Tosh and the color is Edison bulb so they're really small which is what I needed and I, I don't know I maybe could have only bought one but I bought two so maybe one will save for something else I do want to start knitting socks I don't know if this would be good for socks but to go in like a heel so this is Edison bulb and it's Tosh Marina light and it's only, oh, this I was looking for it. It's only 52 yards. So I maybe could have just bought one, but like, you know, I was there and I was like, I don't remember exactly. I just know I need a little bit. So I just bought two and I'll save one for something else if I don't use it. So yeah, that's conversational threads. So five stores, I'll link all their websites down below. Um, but it was fun. It's been fun shopping. We're going on another little road trip. Not saying that I'm going to, I feel like, oh, I kind of reached my max. Oh, here's that. Conversational Threads, Threads Fiber Art Studio. And they do a thing if you spend um, $25, you get a hole punch. And then when your hole punch is done, you get 10 hole punches. I need to save that because they are pretty close to me. Um, and they have lots of nice yarn there. They have two sections of their shop and they just have it all organized by category and they have um, Primrose, they have Madeline Tosh, they have lots of, uh, like a good amount of Hedgehog, they have just lots of other brands, um, I'm trying to think what else they have that I would shop for. Just lots of different brands, lots of different yarns, lots of hand dyed, lots of, oh they have, um, Backyard, what's that one called? Backyard Five something? Barnyard? There's like some sort of hand dyed yarns or something like that. They had that and I was almost tempted to buy that, but just the colors I was looking for. They have a lot of Primrose yarn there though, but I think she dyes in PA, so maybe that's why. Um, but I really like that shop. It was really cute. I probably will definitely go back there. Yes, yeah, so if you get 10 hole punches, then you turn it in and you can, for a full priced items, $25, um, you get a free $25 credit to the store. So that's pretty good. Most hand dyed yarn sells for, I think, um, 25, 26, 27 dollars. So a whole skinny yarn. Um, definitely worth it. So I do recommend shopping at a new yarn store that you haven't gone to when you're on vacation. I think it's a good way to venture out and see what other yarns there are, and especially with hand dyers. I don't think they're at every store you would go to or at your own local ones. There's different ones in different places um, where they sell their yarn. And sometimes you can buy online 
off their websites or whatever, but I think it's fun to support the store too and um, yeah, and to, it's fun to go to new yarn stores that you haven't been to. I think I really enjoy it, that part of the vacation. It's a nice little special time for myself. Um, but yeah, I said we're going to drive down to South Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. I'm not sure. It's somewhere down south because I live in Philadelphia. So I'm not sure where we're going to stop, what cities. Um, but if you live down there and you have a store that you would recommend going to, let me know because I probably will, once we decide where we're going to stop, I probably will Google um, that city and what yarn stores they have and maybe I'll plan another stop. But I feel like I had bought in enough yarn to last me for like two years now. So I'm trying to like, this is why I don't support, support my own yarn store enough because I shop so much on vacation because I think it's really fun. Um, to go to a new store and so then I buy so much yarn and then I have so much yarn and I've really been trying to not buy so much yarn and use my yarn for projects um, just because my yarn budget is shrinking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you've been to some of these stores. Let me know what you bought there. If you have a new favorite hand dyed yarn um, that you're on the look for, let me know. Um, but yes, I bought lots of Primrose, Hedgehog, Knitted Wit, Woolen Boon, Cheshire Cat, or Wonderland Yarns. Lots of new um, companies, new in the yarn for me. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good rest of your summer.